you don't need a Detroit pan to make Detroit. You don't need a deck oven to make Detroit. I'm practicing Detroit every day that I'm at home. I'm making dough. You can put it in any kind of pan. In this video interview with Jeff Smogovich of Blue Pan Pizza and Brown Dog Pizza, Jeff explains all the secrets you need to know to make Detroit pizza. If you ever wanted to make Detroit or interested in Detroit, you're going to love this video. Okay, Jeff, take it away. Okay, Albert Grinder here with my old buddy Jeff Smokovich of Brown Dog Pizza and Blue Pan Pizza. How are you doing, Jeff? Oh, I'm doing excellent. Uh, great pizza expo this year. I've um, been busy doing uh, cooking demonstrations. I got to do uh, the Detroit style um, cooking demonstration for the ninth time. And then uh, I did a sandwich demo too. Um, did some judging and was able to also compete in the pan division. Um, did not uh, place in the top three, but had a great experience and just been, you know, meeting great people here and, you know, re and, and just reuniting with old friends too. Okay. I know you've addressed it before. Tell me about Detroit. What makes Detroit special? Because you grew up on Detroit. Yeah. That is your pizza. Yeah. You know? Yeah, well, I grew up right about two doors down from a Jets pizza. So um, my dad's favorite pizza is Jets. So if my, my dad picks the pizza on Friday night, we get Jets. If my mom picks it, we get Buddies. Buddies was about a half mile. There's a, there's a delivery to go Buddies about a half mile from us. My favorite pizza there was Primo's. Primo's is in Birmingham, Michigan. They have one location. I used to ride my bike to Primo's when I was a little kid and get slices. If I had to pick Detroit style, I'd pick Primo's. However, when I bring my friends to Detroit and take them, or I bring them to Birmingham where I grew up and my partner, and I take them to Primo's, they're not too big of fans of it. So it's more of a nostalgic thing for me that my favorite pizza is still Primo's. Okay. What is Detroit, Jeff? <laughs> Detroit, Detroit style pizza. Detroit style pizza is that caramelized cheese. The caramelized cheese is Detroit style pizza. The sauce on top, you know, the cup and char pepperoni. It's just the light, airy interior crumb, the crispy bottom. I mean, and there's nothing better than Detroit style pizza. It's the yeah. best. It's, it's amazing. And I, I love the story where your little sister never got the edges, the corners, which everyone wanted. Forgot to say corners, yeah. You know, we would uh, we would get we would get primos or buddies or jets on, on on Friday night, and my brother and I would take the four corners, and my sister, who's seven years younger than me, would always end up crying. Um, so you know, I make sure now. I feel I feel bad as I'm older now, and make sure Suzanne always gets a corner piece. All right, that's good. <laughs> I understand you're going to Italy. Yes. Can yeah. you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah. So. Uh, I was actually fortunate enough to go to Italy last month too. There's a pizza competition in Rimini, Italy um, that I judged and there's about 500 competitors. It's a it's a locals beach town in between. Um, it's, a, it's on the Adriatic Sea, about two hours south of Venice. And uh, it was an unbelievable competition. The pizzas there were crazy. Lots of seafood on the pizzas. Um, Lots of Neapolitan. The Neapolitan pizzas were really big. The classic Italian was big. Lots of Roman pizzas. Um, in June, there's another pizza competition in Naples, Italy, um, and they're having an American division. And uh, there's 60 competitors in the American division. And I was fortunate to get one of the slots in that. My mother's turning 80 this year. I'm taking my mom with me to Italy for her 80th birthday. And uh, I'm gonna compete in the American division and the pan division in Italy, and then just in, it, eat tons of pizza in Naples. Great. Hey, Jeff, as long as I got you, tell me a couple of quick tips for someone that wants to make Detroit at home. You don't need a Detroit pan to make Detroit. You don't need a deck oven to make Detroit. I'm practicing Detroit every day that I'm at home. I'm making dough. You can put it in any kind of pan. You can reach out to me, browndogpizza at gmail.com. I'll send you a recipe. You can start tinkering around with it. And it's, it, you get a, you, you do, I love Lloyd pans too. So you get a Lloyd pan off of Amazon. I'll give you the recipe for it. 
I'll give you the dough weight and just start playing around. You don't need special equipment to do it. Your home oven is totally fine to start playing around with it. Okay, how about par baking the crust? Yeah, so I'm a par baker. Um, that's what I do in my restaurants. Um, I like the par bake for a number of reasons. However, when I started doing it um, in 2011, um, it was just something that we made up. Tony Gemignani um, said, hey, let's start par baking. Nobody was doing it at the time. I started doing it and for an operation wise and for getting pizzas out faster to the customer for storage, we don't have the walk-in storage to do the raw bake. Um, it works well for us. You can keep the par bakes overnight too, so you can use them the next day. Um, there's lots of advantages to it. You do lose some of the moisture in the crust when you bake it off, so you get a different texture, a, a different flavor than you would for the raw bake, but you still, the end game, there's lots of space in Detroit style pizza to do par bakes, to do raw bakes, to put the sauce under the cheese, to put the sauce on top of the cheese, to do different kinds of caramelized cheeses around the edge of the pan, aged white cheddar, Munster, whole milk mozzarella, brick cheese, and in the end, we're all Detroit style pizza. So I think there's lots of space within the Detroit style pizza realm to do what you wanna do, what you're looking to do, what your flavor, what your texture you're looking for. Oh, hey, Jeff, thank you so much. Yeah. You just gave a mini workshop <laughs> in Detroit Pizza right here. Love it. How can people find you, Jeff? Where are you uh, located? I know Brown yeah. Dog Pizza, Blue Pan Pizza. Yeah, so come to Telluride, Colorado. Come on a vacation there. You like skiing, you like music festivals, you like film festivals. Come visit us on Main Street in Telluride. We're in Denver, Colorado, in Congress Park. We're in West Highlands, and we're opening a new shop in Golden, Colorado in the fall. So we'd love to see you. Come ask for me. Reach out to me, browndogpizza at gmail.com. I'd love to answer any of your questions. Jeff Smoke Smokovich, thanks a lot for spending time You're with You're welcome. Take care. All right. Try out.